Hey man. Yeah. I'm Chris with Phone Cats, and here's some more Card Wars gameplay. Um, I've beaten the quest mode of this game, the whole campaign I've beaten. And now I'm playing the campaign again, trying to get all the three star challenges. And then every time you get a full three stars, you get a gem. And then every time you get three gems, you have the choice of opening an algebraic chest. Still don't know if it's worth it or not. People are telling me now that I should only buy those whenever it's a special, uh, like a special weekend. A lot of gold cards already got me scared. Just all gold cards. But yeah, um... I'd love to open another algebraic chest, but it literally takes me hours, guys. So we're probably just gonna do a quick one. Kinda sucks, dude, because if I play this in lane two, it won't kill this. But it only has four attacks, so it's not gonna kill me. Let's check his other dudes and make sure he doesn't have anything that'll reduce its... Okay. So we can do this. I don't know, it doesn't seem like the best play. So I don't kill it, but it can't kill me. It's just kind of like this really slow move. God, I wish I had some translator app that every time that uh, Lady Rainicorn said stuff, it would automatically translate it. See, that was a weird perfect. Y'all saw that that was in red. I'm mad. Mm, four mana. He's got that cow. This will kill it in two hits. And all I have to do is win. So that cow will die in two hits. Unless I get a perfect. Technically losing health wise. But I got board control. Oh no! She full she healed one of her dudes up to full health. Oh wow, and that's what Cotton Source Rex. Perfect. What Cotton Source Rex looks like in the non-gold. Y'all know mine's gold. So my gold one's a 1060, and his is a 740. Five mana. I think that's the right play. And then I can floop something for two. Everything's gonna die. Uh, why not? Pikachu, how do I get the sludger? Um, I got one of my sludgers in an algebraic chest. And I don't know, I was kind of upset about it. I wanted like a crazy, crazy gold card or something insane, but three mana for a 15 15 ain't bad. Pikachu, you should open betting? You're dang right, I should. Gamble. Open. 50 win, lose. Pretty obvious that I'm gonna win this game now, so y'all get easy money. Already typing out gamble clothes, don't get sneaky. Corn Lord farts. Every time. That's fine. Uh, read below the vid, it talks about how you can gamble your precious P coins. 22, not enough to kill it. I got a hero ability, let's check the grave, Apache. We're gonna pull it. And play something fat over here. Yeah, this guy's in trouble. I need the sludger. Sludger's good, dude. But I don't know. Don't think it's like. It's not game breaking, or it's not like a black card or anything. It still costs money. Everybody's betting on me winning, so if anybody bets on me losing and I lose, you're gonna get paid so well. And I just got a four-star chest, so I'm pretty rowdy. Nah, I can't even go above the maximum bet, guys. I'm just, uh, another... Another peasant. Uh, ben Killa GT, check below the vid, I talk about how you can check your P-coins. And all the other commands. So I'm winning by two damage right now. Wow! Now he's like beyond dead, turbo toast. 
Don't even know how to handle it. We'll do this, making that thing have zero attack, which is delicious. And just do this floop to squeeze in some extra damage points. But yeah, we got this one on lock. No sense in doing this, but we'll do it anyways. It'll bring that pillow down by another five, so maybe that'll become relevant down the line. But if I hit it for 22, that'll bring it down to six. And even if I use my Angel's ability next turn, it'll only bring it down to one HP, so... Maybe that was not the right play. Gold Knight? Oh, the Gold Sand Knight. 30 attack, 30 defense, game breaking. If you have two with the Dark Angel and Gold Doctor Death. No, oh, that sounds OP. Boop. Ouch. Uh, we'll close out Gamble. But yeah, he's at 61. Feeling fine. This is just doing... I'm just doing that to block the lane. Because that was my only swamp card. That pillow's already got zero attack. Five mana. We'll floop him for one, and I think I'm going to play my gold in this lane. It lets me deal two extra damage, and now I have the option to heal up, but I think this one's already on lock. Like, now we're just playing... I don't even know if playing... Playing safe? Playing defensively? Playing smart. 61. Delicious. Delicious. Corn Ronin. That laugh. That did nothing. We got this, dude. But yeah, I'm gonna try to keep this vid kind of short. Like, if I quest all the way to get an algebraic chest, it'll take me forever. Lady's dead, guys. It's over. I'm sorry. We all know how this is ending. Bam! Gamble! God, I can't spell gamble. Winner. Option one. Gamble! Okay, four-star chest. Get ready. Detective Sally. I got so many of those. Volcano, same thing. Not good. Okay, so here's the make it or break it moment for this video. If I can do this next challenge to actually earn a gem, I'm gonna do it. But if it's something impossible, like, win with only blue planes cards, then uh, we're done. Beat the opponent only using corn cards. Ugh. We'll do it, but it's annoying because I gotta back out and build a whole deck. So we go here, build deck. Is this my rainbow only deck? <laughs> We'll leave deck 3 as my trash rainbow only, and we'll make deck 2 be my straight corn deck. So take out everything that isn't corn. You have to win with just corn cards. But honestly, that's like my sweet spot. No buildings. Corn castle probably doesn't even count as corn. So now we sort by faction, and we just put in all these dudes. I can't believe it's enough to even make a deck. And that should just be 5 by 2. Yeah. 10 cards in my deck. Cool. We'll try it. Uh, battle. Quests. Please, Jen. See if this one's easier or not. Gamble, open, 50, win-less. Um, I would upload these videos later today to YouTube, but YouTube's been really freaking out. Every time someone uploads a vid, it says failed, un unable to convert video file. The many beauties of playing a straight corn deck. <sighs> oh my god. 
Guys, I don't even have mana issues. This is really nice. Hmm, I go first. So maybe that's the best play. The six defense, we'll play it in a lane that has hearts. Hoping that they won't be able to catch it. Kunya! Uh, oh god. Man, he played a Goldo. How to kill it. How to kill it. I guess we'll go Sludge -o. But dude, who knows? Maybe, um... Maybe the straight corn deck is my best deck. We'll find out. I mean... Uh, getting ready to close Gamble, so... Make it happen. I need a corn Ronin. That dude's so strong. Plus three attack for every card in your hand. Like right now, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six times three is eighteen. That's way strong. Turn four. Just wrecking this dude. This corn deck just has so much momentum, it feels like. Like turn two archer. Turn three sludger. Turn four this guy. If I had gold cards, I'd be like top tier, man. Instead I'm like top tier. T E A R. Green Snakey. Peacats, I'm back from IHOP. <laughs> oh my god. Boop. That should have been a block. I'm calling Pendleton Ward. Oh my god, how am I just like the best at this game? I really might go straight corn, guys. This is so crazy. Like, look at this board and look at my hand. I think the thing is, I might have like one card in my deck right now. So I'm about to start taking damage. Oh, that hurts. Gamble closed. Come on, please answer this. How the heck did you get two patches? I just got lucky, dude. I don't even remember. I didn't craft them. I just get them randomly. Okay, look at this OP board. Now it's just choosing what to level up. Lane 2 will die, lane 3 won't die. He's gonna kill me next turn with his corn lord, unless I block it. But that's fine, we'll let him die. Before he does... We gotta floop this guy. Now I spend 1 mana and get plus 8 damage. So dope. This costs 3? And if this costs 2... One! We're flooping all the things. I don't even care if it brings down my dude a little bit. Floop everything! Hurr! Dude, this deck looks so crazy pro right now. Like... This challenge just made me experiment with an all corn deck. I hate how now people in my tournament have like 2,000 trophies. First day! It's called bullcrap. No, I have 560. Yeah. I'm second in the tournament. <laughs> oh my god, I got this girl down to two. It's over. Jonka dene? Jonka Lost a sluggo. Uh oh, now I'm dead. So that's the disadvantage of playing a deck with, like, five cards in it. Oh, we already did Grotopia. It was another little mini-vid. While we're doing this crazy week of Grotopia with the daily uh, updates to Player Appreciation Week, I'm going to keep these vids real short. Peacats, tip in order to fluke creatures, you need to tap the green button behind the creature that says fluke. Come on, dog. You know I know that. Gamble. Winner one. We got a gem. So now we're at one gem, guys. Beat the opponent without using spell cards. We'll try it again with my straight corn deck. I don't know. I'm kind of feeling this. I got a little bit of flow right now. 
But I don't know. I do want to play Hearthstone too. But I'm kind of running short on time. I like this song. <sighs> whoa, 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 it said Doctor. Oh, I'm Doctor Donut. I have no idea who I am. We'll play this on a blue lane. Same routine. You're going first, he attacks first. I have the magic cards. I oh have man. The magic cards. He played enough to kill that archer. I need a block. Great. <laughs> now he has tempo. Sludger. Card Wars is cool. Each gem costs a buck. You would think they would start you off with tons or make them easier to get. Yeah, dude. Um, I'm pretty sure that Card Wars is in like the top 25 uh, top grossing iOS games. So that means that this game sells for $4, and then people are spending a lot of money on in-app purchases. Let me kill this guy. Not good block, though. Oh, God. I want to check and see what the top purchased in-app is for Card Wars. And I can check that real quick. Okay, turn four. Do I just go face rush? Let's. So it looks like the number one purchase in that purchase is buying one gem for 99 cents. Kind of crazy, dude. I thought I had another mana because I was going to play a one mana dude, my little Husker Knights. When I first started playing this game, I loved the Husker Knights. I was like, yay! I finally have a good card. Because they do seem like one of the stronger one drops. Cerebral Bloodstorm, it makes my creature attack itself. Not good. But he's only got these little eyeballs doing nothing. Pretty sure we did a bit. Five mana. Dude, Apache the Pumpkin and a Gold Husker Giant hit for the same amount. Acknowledge it. Respect it. We'll play it. I'm pretty sure we already did a gamble, guys, but it might be closed. Let me try gamble close. No pool currently open? Maybe I didn't do a gamble. I spell it wrong? So confused. What is going on? This guy's like newbie Tuesday. That's dead. Ooh. I have zero cards left in my library. Now we're dead. He's just blocking all these lanes with troll crap. We'll go double patchy on him. Dead. Dead. Oh, so close to perfect. Yeah, this guy's wrecked. Y'all are just getting free money on this one. That was a mistake. <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. Ooh, and I can't even kill that thing. Dude. I wish it told me how much damage I take when that happens, because I think it's a lot. Okay, play this. Floop all the things. Now I can only floop two. We'll do this. Gives me 15 damage spread across three creatures, so 555. Five, five. And... Oh, dope. If I do this, it'll give it plus 8. 27 plus 8 is 35, which is higher than 32, which is good. 
hero ability. We're probably going to pull back Apache just to go for a quick kill shot. And do battle. It's really crazy because this deck takes damage because I run out of cards. But since I play with such few cards, I'm always going to be drawing hotness. You take damage equal to your level. You gotta be kidding me. I'm at 104. Strawberry butt. Oh my god, I love when that card farts. This deck is OP, PCATs use it all the time. I think I might. But I really just stumbled across it for that corn challenge. Yeah, this guy's wrecked. Get out of here. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Now he's dead. Gamble! Winner! One! Yeah, I should probably be playing this in the tournament. Ah, Field Corn Blood. What up, dude? First time you're watching? That's cool. The Super Me said that he just farted when the strawberry butt came up. Please don't make that a trend, guys. Okay, another make it or break it point. If this challenge is doable, I'm gonna be in a good mood and we're gonna keep cruising. If not, it's game over. It looks like I just lost Modbot. Let me see if I can pull him back. And check. <sighs> so I do have a rainbow deck, but it's so scrubby. I don't know. We're tapping out here. We made a little bit of progress. Mainly discovering that this corn deck is so killer. Yeah, that's the end of this uh, Card Wars vid. Thanks for watching. You can pick up Card Wars for $4, man. And let me play some music, and I do want to take a quick peek just to see where this game is actually ranked in the paid games. So we'll go to App Store real quick. Top charts. Games. All games. And now we're checking in the far right lane. Come on, top charts lag. Jeez Louise. And I want to see where Card Wars is located. Um, we're looking at the top in-app purchases for this game. The first one is one gem for a dollar. Next is six gems for five dollars. Then it's 14 gems for $9.99. I don't know why this would be taking so long. Kind of annoying. Do I need to close like 12 other apps? And yeah, I see chat blowing up about, um... There we go, okay. Kind of annoying that I have to go through all... Dang, look at Hearthstone, number 15. I'm not the only one that spent hundreds of dollars on that game. Shamefully. But yeah, right now we're just scavenging for card wars. It's not in the top 20, so pardon me. Okay, so it's not in the top 100. But uh, the next game that we're going to play, I think, is going to be Hearthstone. So let's move on to that. Thanks for watching. Bonecats.